there's three keys in disc golf. Driving, I'll get back to you on that. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I have a special Frisbee Club edition of the disc throwdown where I take two discs and compare and contrast them as I play around with them. So I'm going to be playing around here where I throw both the finish line rally and the finish line torque off every tee. I'll take the best lie and we'll go from there. Let's get started. So I back the camera up a tiny bit. I'm basically just going to throw these for the most part and then up shots. I'll just use any disc in my bag. And uh, one thing to note, this is day one of this new course layout. I'm at Victory Disc Golf Course in Houston and Matt Brahas just left and he had set up the baskets here. So I'm going to play a brand new layout, literally never before seen by anyone. I'm going to be the first person playing it because he just left after setting everything up. And uh, with that said, I'm going to go ahead and start with the rally. And I'll tell you a little bit more about these discs as things get going. Baskets that way, about 230 feet or so. Let's, let's see what I can do. That's definitely a straight flyer. Now the torque, which should be a bit more stable. Hoo-hoo. I'm going to throw that one more time. So full disclosure, every throw that I shank here or do terribly wrong, if I re-throw it, I won't take that lie. But I want to see if I can give this a better chance. There we go. Ooh, that is definitely a tiny bit more stable. It actually kind of wanted to come out of my hand on Heiser on its own. Okay, this is actually pretty insane. I uh, nailed it. <laughs> I'm uh, at bullseye's edge. Fascinating. Okay, hole two is apparently unchanged, but I believe the par is a par four on this new layout. He gave me a map, which I'm using, which uh, roughly follows the layout that has been here before. Uh, the basket is actually behind those trees. There's no way to position the camera to where you can see the basket and see me in frame. So just gonna try some approaches. Yeah, very soft throws. There's a street I'm trying to cross. The street is OB. I'm just trying to make good golf lines. And now here's the torque. I'm gonna to try to impossible throw the rally first every time. There we go. Yeah, that thing significantly more stable than the rally. There's the basket. Here are the two discs and they went about the same distance, which is to be expected. Okay, so I'm now a good 215, 220 or so from the basket. So let me see what I can do to get close with these. Real good. If I were to make a correction, particularly with this disc, throw it a little bit higher, tiny bit. Pulled it out just a little bit. Yeah, I didn't throw that right. Unfortunately for me, I changed the line, but I didn't change the power level. So this one's a good 80 feet out. That said, my other disc is closer. Yep, I was 90 feet away from that first one. I'm exactly 50 feet away from this one. <laughs> Boom. Okay, as I hoped, an easy par. Woohoo! Here we are, 460 foot par four. A little bit of obstruction. The basket is way down there. You're not going to be able to see it from here. It's on the rally. All right, just trying to avoid that, but I didn't. Now let's try the torque. If I throw the same line, I actually predict it'll come up shy. Heck yeah. Well, that was a correction. Okay, according to Bushnell, it's 280 feet that way. So I've got a full length crush for both of these. Liked it, but I released a touch too early. Let's see what I can do with this torque. I have to change the run up just a tiny bit for this one. Ah, oh, threw that low. Oh well. Okay, this put me at 72 feet from the basket, which is fine. It's uh, into my putting range, but great for approaches. 
boom, boom, right next to it. Well, I can't argue with the par on this hole. I'm not absolutely sure on the distance on this. Bushnell seems to indicate about 300 feet to the basket. Yes, sir, I got all that. I tried grip locking a little bit with a little bit of Anheuser because I know it's so stable and I just missed through it. Oh well, it's too far away for me to go get it. Okay, so I'm gonna say that it was about 300 feet and I've thrown the, to the 250 foot mark. So there's 50 feet left to the basket. <laughs> okay, yeah, this is about as easy as it gets for me. Okay, this is a little confusing, but the basket is supposed to be around the corner that way. And I, I have no idea what the measured distance is. Um, so I'm just gonna throw it that way and just see what happens. There we go. I'm having to put a little ante on it because I needed to go that way just a little bit. So where that's at is just fine. Now this is a fair bit more stable. So I'm gonna have to crank it more and ante and more lower if I have any chance of getting it coming over Ah, oh, I didn't do that right. And of course, that's super beefy. So I needed to do sharp Anheuser kind of low and just kind of have it pushing that way. And I threw it too high without enough Anheuser and so it skied and then faded out. Okay, we made it to a good 230 feet away, I think, maybe more. Uh, so far, these are comparing favorably to, like this torque is somewhere between a Thunderbird at 9502 and a T-Bird at 7502 in terms of how it flies. I'd say this is closer to like 8502. I have no idea what the flight numbers are for these. But that's a beefy boy in my hands. Okay, yeah, that didn't put me near the basket nearly as much as I would have liked. So get another throw with the less stable disc. And this is to me somewhere with between like an FD, 75, negative one, one to maybe a TL7501 in terms of flight numbers, but maybe a speed eight version of that. So 8501, I'm going with at the moment. That's what it feels like. It's just less stable. I can get more distance. And this seems to be what I could typically expect between these two in terms of distance. I can get just a little bit farther in terms of distance, greater distance with the rally. Well, surprise, surprise, I'm exactly 50 feet away from the basket. Who could have, who could have guessed the way this <laughs> has been going so far? <laughs> and surprise, surprise, I pick up another par. Okay, so I had to place the camera where you can see the basket. It's over there, that's the best I can do. The way the T-pad is pointed and the way the hole looks like, you have to th shoot that way and let it fade to the left. So fortunately, I've got two stable discs for that. <coughs> oh yeah, high, but that's a great throw for me. This one I'm gonna try to throw lower. Ah, I'm gonna redo that. Okay, thank you to the young men who handed me this disc back. <laughs> Kids walking home from school. Let's try this again. Ah, uh, with the exception of hitting those branches. So as a course maintainer, I personally would get rid of some of those branches that are in the way because this makes it a very difficult shot. Okay, so far every drive off the tee, I've been going with this rally simply because I've been able to throw it better, put it in the right spots and have it go a little farther. So. It just goes to show you, this is probably something you would throw in light wind or maybe with wind behind you, whereas the torque you would throw in a sharp headwind. And if you have higher power levels than I do, or you want better stability so it gets around a corner. I'm 132 feet from the basket. Pretend this is a pace. Holy smokes. Let me try that again with, without grip locking. I don't know what I did there. There we go. See, that's more like it. Goodness. Man, if only player two could have thrown first on this one. All right, well, that's a bogey. Okay, the basket's approximately 217 feet from the edge of the tee pad, verified through Bushnell, and that's what Matt has for the distance. Let's try the, a straight throw with the rally. 
and by straight throw, by straight throw I mean late release with hyzer. <laughs> Alright, let's try this again. Too high. That was largely what I wanted, it's just too high. Okay, I still managed to get to 34 feet from the basket despite <laughs> my uh, mistake. So I've got an edge of circle putt just outside of, I'm in circle two. <laughs> yes, sir. Okay, from what I can tell on the map, there's a Mando, either that bush right there, potentially that tree. I'm just going to consider it that bush because that's what it looks like to be on the map. So we've got to go throw that way and then it's going to go that way. I'm just going to try to get past the Mando. <clears throat> yes, sir. Yeah, that one I had to pull as hard as I can. And that one technically missed that if that were the Mando, but I did at least get a good flight out of it. So there's the basket they're aiming for. I got a pretty good distance with this torque, but the rally, still the distance king in my book from finish line. I'm approximately 250 feet away from the basket. I can't throw it straight and have it reach there, so I've got to go around. So let me uh, go around. That's everything I got. <laughs> All right. Well, from a standstill. Now I'm going to try to actually do a drive. I just want to go that way. It's a par four, I believe. So I'm going to play it like a par four. Just want it over. Perfect. All right. Okay, here we are. Both the torque and the rally are about the same distance away, but this is closer to me from where I was throwing. We're heading to there, and then we're heading out that way to the next basket where the rally is so I'll just pick it up then again pretend this is a rally no a pace approach disc because it's about the same as one there we go much better perfect okay so basically a tap in okay so this appears to be the original hole nine you know for the most recent victory layout they have a longer one over there so I'm just going to throw stand still baskets over there you can't really see it pretty good. I had, did have to give that a little bit of hyzer. Here I can flatten it out more because it's strong enough to fade. So I can flatten this hopefully a little bit more, maybe point a little more inside. Man, I... That's okay. Okay, with this torque I managed to get to about 25, 30 short of the basket. But this rally I threw in such a way as I actually went just past pin high, maybe a little closer. I'll range find the difference. Okay, the torque was 30 feet from the band. Uh, this is 24 feet from the band, so I'm just gonna go with this. It's the first throw anyway, so whatever. I'm not really keeping score like, because the layout isn't here yet. <sighs> gonna throw a backhand line, maybe side ante, we'll see. Yes, sir. Not perfect, but it'll do. And I don't think I can really put it out there like I can the rally. Let me just see what I can do with my forehand. Oh, uh, this is going to be something else. Hoo -hoo, the fact that I got through is amazing, although it's probably maybe half the distance, maybe 130 away from here. Okay, the torque was 88 feet from the basket, uh, you know, from the band. That's where I'm measuring to, and this is 45 feet from the basket. So uh, that was actually better than anticipated. Well, that's a par. Easy money. Okay, we've arrived at hole 11 short. 580 feet that way. I can't see the basket. I don't expect anyone to see the basket. I'm throwing that way. There's no mandos. Let's just put some heat on some discs. Yes, sir. That's definitely an 8501 disc to me. Let's see if this is the 8403 disc that I feel it is. Oh, at least a tiny bit late and on hyzer, so not exactly the same flight. It's still a beefy boy. 
Okay, we've arrived at the live from my torque and I can now see the baskets straight ahead that way a good 300 more feet and my rally is over there probably gonna throw from that one. Really I do think the torque had a better uh, angle towards the basket but I'm gonna play this rally. I think this is really what I should be playing anyways. Perfect. Yes, sir. Two great throws. Pretty good throw with this torque. However, the better throw was this rally. I'm gonna go ahead and go for this one. Okay, 180 feet from the basket. Typically, I would throw something like a pace, an approach disc, but since we're here, and we've got these two drivers, let's just see what they'll do at about a 180. Throwing the torque first. Ooh, -hoo. now the rally. I put that out a little too wide. That would have been a better throw for the torque. I'll just take it. Okay, 24 feet <laughs> from the basket. That seems to be the pattern. Oh, well, there's a bogey. Did you guys see what happened to me when I tried putting? Instead of going to the basket, I involuntarily went that way. And that's just how it goes um, with disc golf. That's the thing that's frustrating with sports in general, just the body sometimes does its own thing. Okay, we've arrived at 12 short, which is 270 feet away from the basket that way. Let's see how far I can get towards the basket. I'm gonna actually try this rally first and throw a little bit more of a straight line towards it. There we go. Now let's see how close to that I can get this torque, given the torque is a bit more stable. Oh, pulled it way to the right trying to compensate for its stability. I'm going to rethrow that. Okay, let's try this again. Let's not over over correct. <laughs> let's just correct. Yes. Yes, that was perfect for what I was aiming for. So these are all 80% throws for me. And you can see that the torque, I got about 20 feet shy of the rally. I'm gonna go ahead and putt where the rally is. All right, with that said, I'm 42 feet from the basket. <laughs> uh, I'm in disbelief, but whatever, it doesn't matter. It's in there. Okay, we've arrived at 13 short. This is apparently the same distance as it's the same as the previous hole 13 on the previous layout. That said, basket is straight ahead that way, behind a tree you really can't see. You'll see a double tree, it's behind the left tree. Sir, that's an 8501 disc, if I ever saw one. Now let's try the 8403 disc and see what this looks like. I'm gonna put a little more than 80% on it. Yes. Now, I don't think I got that much more force onto the disc than the rally, but it should have gone a little bit farther. Let's see how it plays out. So this is an 80% throw, maybe a tiny bit too low. And this was probably closer to 90%, uh, but I got a better grip on it. And so I'm about 25 feet closer towards the basket. Okay, I'm 105 feet to the basket. Pretend this is a pace. Let's see how close I can get to it. Looks like I can get pretty close. So the interesting reason why I'm actually comparing both of these at the same time is uh, pretty simple. This uh, rally was something that I ordered from Infinite Discs. It was supposed to have the Frisbee Club <laughs> stamp on it. There was a mistake, I guess, with you know the warehouse or whatever, and they didn't um, put the stamps on these. So they threw in a free disc and they put the stamp on these. So I've got a rally and a free torque with the Frisbee Club logo. So if I happen to run into a broad in the future, I'm gonna get him to stamp this. Okay, 14 short. It looks to be the same as the previous hole 14 position here. The basket's hanging up over there about 223 feet away. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw my rally first just to see how close I can get. There we go. 
that was maybe a 70% throw. Like I slowed down actually during the first part of the swing and I wasn't able to uh, accelerate as much. Let me see what happens with this one. I had to throw with uh, Anheuser to flex it because there's a street over there and it's probably gonna end up still close to that street. Okay, here's the rally that I threw and there's the basket probably 25 or more feet away. And there's that torque, which I had to do a significant Anheuser flex so it didn't end up out there. Okay, it's actually 34 feet away, which a little bit far farther than I expected, but whatever. <laughs> oh well. I could have probably focused up a little bit more for that, but to be honest, I felt like I was locked on and I pretty much only putt when I feel like I'm locked on in the first place, so I can't really complain. Easy par. Okay, we've made it to the next hole, the shorts, which is a little bit shorter than the, uh, I guess that would now be the long hole. Uh, it's 195 feet from here to the basket, so I'm just gonna do some standstill throws. Pulled it out a little bit too wide. That's what I would have liked to have done with the torque. That said, I've got a putt there. Let me see what I can do with the torque. I'm gonna to try to repeat that performance. Just try to pull it out to the right and just see what it does. Oh, I pulled that just too much to the right. That's definitely more stable and a little bit closer than the rally. Haha, <laughs> look at this. They're exactly the same distance away. That's hilarious. Frisbee club. Okay, we've arrived at 16 short. I think Matt said this is the one he still needs to clean up. The basket is 205 feet in that direction. It looks like the tee pad is here. And I think what he means to clean up there are these branches right here. Um, so anyways, I'm just gonna see what I can do. Just kind of try to throw it low. And I threw it a little nose up, but it thankfully caught through. Let's see what the torque does. Maybe throw this just a little bit lower. Ah, oh, too low. That skipped a little bit. I have a par look from both of those, so I can't really complain. But I will. Okay, so I'm 55 out. I would like to re-throw this hole once it's cleaned up. Um, pretty much the rest of the course looks, looks fine, but uh, this one here uh, is really hard to birdie given the interference. <laughs> you know, if I would have made that, I would have felt guilty. And that's something I'm grappling with. Like sometimes I make stuff that's honestly too good for my pay grade. And it's like, oh, well, it's just weird. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm still proud of myself, you know, for making long putts or actually making good throws. But I do feel like I don't deserve it sometimes. And it's just a conflicted feeling I'm going to have to deal with. Okay, we've arrived at 17 shore. It's about 240 feet away, which given how I've been throwing these, if I throw them at 80%, this is 80%, I should be able to get close to it, providing I'm accurate enough. A little too high, but otherwise a great throw. Let me see if I can throw a lower, maybe a slight bit of Anheuser. Ah, oh, I threw it high. I'm gonna grab that and re-throw it. It's when I make throws like that that make me feel like I don't deserve the good throws. So again, I'm gonna slow it down and just throw it. There we go. That's much better. You can see it hit the concrete. I'm just not gonna be able to throw that disc as far as the rally, given its level of stability and my level of power. Okay, 27 feet towards the basket. This is on an incline, so it's really weird. So I'm just gonna putt from here. Sit, Ubu, sit. Good boy. Yes, sir. Okay, hole 18 short, 220 feet towards the basket in that direction. I don't really have a straight shot to it. Let me see if I can throw a little bit of Anheuser Nope, a little too stable. So yeah, at least for my power level, my level of efficiency and form, I can't do a backhand with that and get it close. Let me try a forehand. I don't really have a forehand, but if I were to actually try one, this would be the one I'd try. 
Holy smokes. That's probably the best forehand I've thrown in months. Months. <laughs> okay, I'm actually 48 feet from the basket, so I thought I threw this farther than I really did. I threw this really about as far as I <clears throat> typically throw, so oh well. Um, 48 feet from the basket here, 54 feet from the basket over there, but that's practically pin high. <laughs> really, this is inconsequential because I'm just going to get a par in this hole anyways. But that's basically going to do it for this video. I'm going to summarize everything in just a moment. All right, well, that is going to do it for the throwing portion of this video. What I want to tell you about these two discs are... So what I have to say is, these are pretty good fairway drivers. They do basically what I expect them to do. The rally is a straight flyer that'll get you max distance if you're a recreational uh, level player like myself. Um, whereas this torque is definitely more stable. I would classify these as eight speeds. This one's slightly more glidey. The rally's slightly more glidey than the torque. The rally also slightly less stable than the torque. I would say, how about significantly less stable? So I would say 8501 for the rally, and I have no idea what the numbers are in real life, but I may put them on screen to compare what I think compared to what the manufacturer says. And then the same thing with the torque, I think it's an 8403 disc, at least in the hands of someone like myself. And these are both baggable. They fill two different slots. This is your stable, straight flyer. This is your uh, overstable, significantly overstable, trustworthy disc that you throw in the wind and to get around corners. Uh, that is gonna do it for this uh, video. Uh, thank you very much uh, for, for watching it. <laughs> um, please leave a like uh, if you like the video. And uh, please subscribe if you haven't already as I have more interesting disc golf videos on the way. I think at this point I'm supposed to throw these past the camera. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.